Hello my lovely fragrance family, how are you doing today? It's Priyanka here. I was recently speaking with a few subscribers to my YouTube channel and I realized that many of them are still budding fragrance. This means that a lot of them don't really know many of the advanced terms or curricular terms or even just um, the namesake terms that we call certain things in perfumery. A very simple example is if I call a perfume green, you may not necessarily understand what green means. Or if I call a perfume blue, you might not equate that to what it actually is. Similarly, if I say that a vanilla is balsamic or a wood is sweet, people may wonder what is she speaking about? Or not just me, but what a lot of other YouTubers there in perfume are speaking about. So I thought that I would start demystifying this for you bit by bit. I want to start this mini edu series that I will be running over a longer period of time it will be interspersed with my other house reviews and giveaways and I want to make sure that each one of you knows exactly what the fragrance world is talking about because it can be quite intimidating for a new fragrance head to ask certain questions or even if you research it sometimes you might not get answers to the level that might satisfy you so I sincerely hope that I can help demystify and simplify all of these terms for you bit by bit over a period of time. As for today's subject, I wanted to start off with the very basics, a fragrance note. What is a fragrance note? Before I go on, I would love it if you took a moment to subscribe to my channel and of course like my videos and comment what you like, what you want to know more. If there's something that I have explained but you know you still haven't understood it, please feel free to put it in the comments or you can even write to me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help out anyone and everyone. Let's start off with the first thing. What is a fragrance note? Put very simply, a fragrance note is what you smell when you spray a perfume. Like this. Notes are pretty much a description of what you sense when you smell. So if you smell a certain flower or a certain wood or a certain citrus fruit, that is exactly what a note is. So notes are separated into three classes. You have the top or the head notes, you've got your middle or heart notes, and you've also got your base notes which are known as bottom notes and even soul notes alternatively. Put very simply, these are ingredients that you smell from the start to the very end. Which ones you smell at the very start, which ones you smell somewhere there in the middle and which ones you smell towards the end. So in terms of your sense of time, you've got the top which evaporates first which you smell at the very start, you've got the middle which comes in a little later and you've got the base which is what stays on you the longest. Just to give you a better idea of how this works in a fragrance bottle. Um, the ingredients are all put in together and they are blended. Just because they're called top, middle and base notes, it doesn't mean that they actually float in that category. They're all blended into the fragrance together. Another thing that you should know is that every note that you smell has an effect on another note. So for example, if you smell lavender, it lends this aromatic nature to a citrus fruit that could be bergamot. The lavender could be in the heart, but the bergamot could be in the top and they could still have an effect on each other. This could also mean that certain base notes could increase the longevity of other notes in the heart or sometimes even in the top. What do you find in the top note of a perfume. The top notes generally contain citruses like oranges, they also contain aromatics like lavender, and they contain herbaceous ingredients as well. So it could be something like rosemary or tarragon. Those could also go into a top note. And these are generally used to give the sort of lightness and effervescence to a fragrance. Top notes don't always have to be citrus or fizzy 
in nature. Depending on the story that a perfumer goes for, top notes can sometimes smell really sweet. Um, they could also smell quite bitter, but mainly top notes will always provide you with a certain sense of freshness. And these make up about, I would say, 20 to 30% of the actual formulation in the bottle. How long do top notes last? So top notes last you for about 5 to 20 minutes. It all depends on what the ingredients are and secondly also what the concentration of the perfume is. So this would definitely give you an understanding that this is exactly what you smell the top notes when you spray a perfume in a store. Um, when you smell it immediately after the beauty advisor has sprayed the perfume on you, you'll notice that you'll smell a lot of the freshness, a lot of the citruses, and it always elevates your mood. So what happens essentially is that you get an idea of what the start of the fragrance smells like but you're not really smelling the rest of the fragrance and this is why i always suggest to first wear a fragrance for a little while maybe if you're in a mall whenever things in your own countries open up um, but if you do visit a mall walk around the mall a little while you have this perfume on you and come back and purchase the fragrance if you do like it i would definitely suggest this in case you are making an expensive fragrance investment because I do know that people have made purchases that are 700 to even $2,000 on a bottle of perfume and initially they have smelt it, they've liked it, but then later on when they've worn it again and they've actually gone through the entire wear, that is when they realize, oh my god, I don't like it and now you're sitting with this perfume that you don't know what to do with because you've invested so much money in it. Of course, there are always a lot of people who would like to get decants and pay for them or just buy the bottle off you, so there's not really that that much to worry about but you still have made that investment and that means a lot moving on to our next which is the middle notes or more fondly called heart notes so middle notes basically what they do is they start appearing around the time when the top notes start dissipating a little bit and middle notes also make up anything between 50 to 70 percent of a perfume's volume which is why they're also called the body of the fragrance this is really that one main part of the fragrance which gives you an introduction to understand what this fragrance is all about. With middle notes, it's quite interesting because what they do in terms of their role is not just to give you, the wearer, the impression of a really well-rounded fragrance, but when you have base notes on your skin because everything gets sprayed together at once, um, base notes at the very start may not smell like nice-ish or they might smell a little offensive to you or they might have a certain odor that you may not like so the heart notes actually help to sort of capture those and you know just push them a little into the background till the time they're ready to really mature and come to the surface. Middle notes generally consist of floral or spicy or even fruity notes, but it's not really uncalled for that a base note may sometimes be bumped up to a middle note for a certain reason. One thing to note about middle notes is that they generally do their best work in the 15 minute to one hour window from when you have initially sprayed your perfume. Off to the base notes. The base notes or you can call them soul notes or you can even call them bottom notes depending on what you prefer in terms of wording. Not an issue at all. You can call them any of them. But these basically form what is the foundation of the fragrance much like middle notes are the body of the fragrance. Base notes typically make up about 10 to 20 percent of a fragrance's volume and you will notice them really come to the fore once you find that the heart notes are dissipating a bit. This juncture though where the base notes and the heart notes are still in play 
that is a very important juncture because that is where you get to know exactly what the fragrance is all about. Base notes generally consist of resins, woods and musks and this is because they are really great fixatives as well. You may ask why the base notes really come to the forefront in the end. So the thing about base notes is that their molecules are a lot heavier than your top or your heart notes. This means that firstly they take a lot longer to rise from your skin. Secondly, they also take a lot longer to leave from your skin. Base notes of a fragrance could last on you from anything between six hours to even an entire day. For me personally, it depends on the concentration of the fragrance that I am wearing. If I wear an eau fraiche or an eau de toilette or a cologne, it generally won't last as long. It'll probably be maybe, you know, four to six hours if I'm lucky with an eau de toilette. Um, with an eau de parfum, it definitely would go higher. Even with an extra de parfum, you're looking for even higher, right? So the more the concentration, the more that it's actually going to last on you. This is why a lot of people also choose to wear concentrates because if they have a signature scent especially or if there's a fragrance that they just want to wear for one entire season, something like that could even last them up to three or four days on their skin. So I hope this simplification of what the fragrance structure looks like in terms of notes and understanding what notes actually are basically just the ingredients that go into the perfume. I hope this really helps you out to understand how to start, you know, breaking down every single fragrance that you own, um, just to get an understanding of, oh, this has apple in it, or oh, this has plum in it. Um, just to get those nuances, I hope that this helps you out even that little bit. Um, like I said, do let me know if there is something more that you would like to know, and I would be most happy to do another video on it. In the meantime, you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!